In this video, I'm gonna be answering some more questions around the Amazon affiliate website that we created a little while back in a previous video. A few of you have had some problems after updating the kingdom theme with uh, images not showing, uh, sliders disappearing, all sorts of random stuff going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and answer a few of those today. I'm also gonna be showing you how to make the menu on the kingdom theme um, a little bit more mobile friendly. So, uh, well, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. This is the fourth FAQ video that I've done now for the Amazon affiliate website that we created in a video way back. I will put a link up on the screen to that now if you haven't uh, already seen that and made yourself a website. But for those of you that have made yourself a website and are having a few problems, hopefully this video is gonna, uh, gonna help you out. So before I start, let's quickly talk about um, the AA team. Not this AA team, but the other AA team, the ones that make um, the WooZone plugin and the Kingdom theme. Now, I know a number of you have had some problems getting support from these guys, but what I will say is if you're patient uh, and create some you know, detailed tickets, generally they do get back to you eventually with a solution. Although I know if you go there now, you get this page, which isn't very good because I think they're on holiday and they've completely closed down their ticket system, uh, which isn't very helpful. But yeah, I'm here, I'm gonna try and help you out and I'm gonna go through a few problems that I've uh, been hearing about um, via the comments and uh, by the emails I've been getting. Okay, so the first thing um, I'm gonna talk about is the pictures on the products. Now, a number of you have been uh, letting me know, and I've actually noticed this as well on the Zombie Merc site, that some products, the main image hasn't been showing. So, um, I'll tell you what, let's go on the computer quickly and I'll, I've come up with a solution for this. Uh, it's a bit of a workaround, but yeah, I'll show you what I've done. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm over at Zombie Merc, uh, which is, uh, I say, the website that I created in the first Amazon affiliate tutorial video. And I'm on a product here, a Z the Zombie Unrest in Peace game set. And we can see there's no image. I know a number of you have been having this problem as well on your site since updating to the latest version of Kingdom. So let's just have a look at what's going on here. So if I go and edit the product, we can see that in fact, there is an image. It's set as a product image there. And in fact, that image does show around the site, you know, in category views, whatever. It's only when you actually click into the product that there's nothing to be seen. There's an image down here in the product gallery as well. So it's all very peculiar. I think this is a bug. Um, and I don't think they've fixed it yet, the AA team. As I say, they've been on holiday and all that business. So, uh, but there is a workaround that I found. What you can do is if you, uh, let's just see what the name of this image is. It's Z the zombie, funnily enough. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it again as another product gallery. I mean, this is going to be a bit of a chore. You know, you're going to have to go around and fix your affected products. And I know looking at my site here that it doesn't actually affect all products. It's a bit of a weird one. But it seems to be uh, not displaying the first one of these um, product gallery images. So now I've added two. Let's just go and have a look. There we go. You see it's there now. But in theory, it should be showing two because there's two set in the in the gallery there, but hey. Okay, so that's that fixed. Um, bit of a workaround, I say, you're gonna have to go into all the products that um, haven't got an image, let me have a look, which is probably gonna be a few. Um, let me have a look at this one. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry, hopefully if you haven't got too many products, that's not gonna take too long to fix, but if you have, it's the best I've got for now. As soon as I hear something from my A team, I have got this raised as an issue with them. They are on holiday, but as soon as I know, I will let you guys know. Okay, on to the next problem. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. I got an email earlier today from a regular viewer who said that they'd updated their Kingdom theme and now a few things weren't working, including the homepage slider um, and a few other bits of mobs. So let's have a look at that now and I will uh, see if I can fix it on the fly uh, while we record it. So let's have a look. Okay, so I'm over at the website uh, that I got the email about earlier today. Um, it's one that's obviously been made using the Kingdom theme following my tutorials, so great work. Um, but as we can see, it's gone a bit broken since updating to the latest version of the Kingdom theme. Uh, the logo's gone back to this old Kingdom store thing. Um, the slider's gone. This menu's also gone a bit funny. I don't know if it was like that before, but we'll fix that as well while we're here. Um, other than that, let's have a look. Are they getting the problem with the images I just spoke about? Let's have a look. 
yeah, they're also getting the uh, the problem with the images as well, which I've just uh, explained how you can fix. Um, but hey, well, let's fix the other stuff. So the first thing is this logo. Generally, I think it will just disappear because it's lost the setting. So let's just go and check the setting within appearance and kingdom thing. They've moved the option in this version. It used to be just kind of down here somewhere, didn't it? But now it's in appearance. If we go into layout, you see there's nothing in here. So all you need to do is click upload image, and then it should already be in the media library because obviously we uploaded it previously. Just do a search, I'm hoping it's called logo. There it is. So I can just insert that again, click save. And let's have a look at the, the front of the site. So we got the logo back. Okay, so the next thing is the, um, the slider on this page. Again, it's probably just forgotten its settings. So let's just go to edit page. And if we scroll down, I'd imagine they're using the revolution slider. So I'm just gonna set that back to revolution slider because that's the one that we use in my video. So now let's go and have a look at that. So there's the slider. Sometimes, uh, I've noticed this on a couple of other sites, I think it's a new option in Kingdom. Uh, this post title, if that's set to yes, let me just show you which I think it is by default. Uh, what you'll find is you get a little, well you get the page title coming up, which you probably don't want on the home page. Let me just show you that. Yeah, it puts that there, you don't want that. So yeah, if you've got that to get rid of that, you need to just uh, adjust that option. Let me just put it back to off. Or no, there we go. Okay, so that's looking uh, better again now. So this menu, if you get this problem with, I think it's generally when you add too many um, pages to your menu, it drops down to the second line, which is a bit rubbish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect it using um, my browser here. Firebug's good for it, or you can just, as you see, just right click and go inspect. And it brings up this tool here, which allows you to kind of look at the CSS. And the CSS is um, basically the styling. And what we can do is we can adjust some of the styling by just changing some of these numbers here. So if I reduce a bit of the padding on the left there, I'm just pressing the down uh, arrow key on my keyboard. I put that to 10 and maybe on the right as well to 10. You see how it tidies up the menu a bit and kind of puts it all onto one line, which is good. Also this, <laughs> while I'm at it, I'm probably gonna tidy up this whole site. This logo, you can see that's too big. It's far too long and it's um, it's pushing everything down. So let's adjust that in a minute. But hey, I'm getting distracted. So yeah, I've adjusted this. Now this is only kind of on the fly. If I refresh this page, um, it will go back to what it was. So what we need to do is actually apply these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, not open my dictionary. I'm just going to highlight these and copy them to my clipboard. Doing a you know Command C or Control C on a Mac. And then what I'm going to do, let me just close the inspector. Is go into the dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a plugin so that we can add the custom CSS and adjust that menu. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to do it without a plugin. So I'm just going to type custom CSS. I've just gone to plugins there and add new. Then in the search box, type custom CSS. I'm going to install this uh, first one that comes up, custom CSS. So just click install now and it will install that for you. And once it's done, click activate. Okay, so that's activated. So um, it's added an option in appearance and custom code. So if we go in there, and if we click add new at the top, then all we need to do is give it a name. Let's uh, call it menu fixed. Then I'm just gonna paste uh, the code from the clipboard into here. And then I'm gonna click publish.
So let's go back to the website and have a look if that's made any difference. There we go, that's looking better. Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna fix this logo, it's far too big, so I'm just gonna copy this image. Uh, obviously, if your logo is fine, you don't need to worry about this, but if, what I say is when you're adding a logo, you wanna make sure that it doesn't screw up the site too much. Um, so I'll just open up my graphics package here. I don't know why I've got all these pictures of the sun. Let's remove them. So I'm just gonna crop the uh, the logo within my graphics package, obviously, if you're using Photoshop or one of the free editors, it's pretty much the same. Fireworks is pretty cool because um, you can just kind of trim the canvas. So I'm just going to move that there. Then I'm going to go modify canvas and trim canvas. So I made it nice and square. Then I'm going to resave it. Uh, organic logo will be fine. And let's go back into the website and just update that. So appearance and kingdom theme, layout. Let's remove that and click upload. And then select the logo. And save all that stuff. Let's take a look now. That's looking much better, don't you think? So, um, I think we're all fixed up on this site. I hope that's helped you out. Um, let's move on to some other bits and bobs. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you today is how to make the menu, you know, the top navigation on the Kingdom theme, a bit better on a mobile. Some of you have noticed that on a mobile, it doesn't kind of condense down into a burger menu, you know, those three lines. So, if I just show you, can you see that? Um, let me, Kind of. So on mine, I've got this little um, yeah menu at the top. So looks like that. Anyway, I've done it with a plugin, um, and I'll show you what that plugin is now and the kind of settings that I've done to get up and running. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm back over at Zombie Merc, and yeah, this one has got a mobile menu. So if I just bring it in, rather than trying to show you my phone, which didn't work very well, did it? Um, yeah, you can see that this little menu here pops up now, so it's kind of nice. I've made this like mobile phone shape, you see, by adjusting my browser size. So yeah, if you want one of these two on your Kingdom theme, let me just show you what I've done. If I go into the dashboard, as I said, I've installed a plugin. I'll just try and remember what it's called. Um, I think it's called Mobile Menu or something. Ah, there we go, WP Responsive Menu. So go over to Plugins, click Add New, do a search for WP Responsive Menu and you'll find this uh, lovely little plugin. If you then install it and activate it, uh, it'll add this little um, option thing here, WPR Menu. And what you need to do is you need to tick this box. You need to select the menu you want to display for your mobile, which is probably called Main Menu or whatever your main menu is. Because on this one, you remember we've got footer menus and top menus too. It'll be the, um, the main menu. Then in this bit here, where it says elements to hide in mobile, you want to enter body space dot navigation bar, just like that. And then what that will do is it will hide the, uh, the kind of desktop menu when it goes into mobile, which is what you want. Other than that, I don't think you need to mess around with these options much more. Let me just check in here. There's a few other bits and bobs you can put here for your menu appearance, like the text and if you want a logo, but I haven't really bothered with any of this stuff. And you can also set some colors, again, which I haven't really bothered with on this site. So uh, yeah, there you go, WP Responsive Menu. Check it out and it will make your uh, your menu much more friendly for mobile devices. So that concludes another FAQ video around the Amazon affiliate website. Hopefully I fixed a few of your problems. I will uh, do my best to get A18 to update the Kingdom theme um, and try and fix that product image bug that we've got. That would be most useful. But for now, obviously, you can try and use the workaround in this video, but that is gonna be a bit of a pain if you've got lots and lots of products. I also wanted to uh, let you guys know that I've been creating some more videos on making money online and affiliate marketing and all that stuff, so do check out the channel uh, to find those. They're not just um, Amazon ones. I've got some videos on all sorts of things. So yeah, if you're uh, kind of developing your business online, you might wanna uh, check those out.
But until next time, if you get stuck, you've got any questions, comments, the usual stuff, please leave them below or send me an email over to eagle at wpeagle.com and I will do my best to help you out. Thanks for the support and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.